I'm going somewhere I have never ever been before in my life and I have always wanted to and the timing could not have been any more perfect because I have been craving Thai food. I am going to Bangkok tonight. I am so, so excited. It is a long flight. It's about 16 and a half hours going there. So I just finished packing my bags, but I think I'm going to lie down for a bit and have a little bit of a nappy nap because I don't want to feel droopy while I am working tonight. If you're new here, my name is Carissa. I am a flight attendant and I am looking forward to going to Bangkok with you tonight. So I will see you very soon in Thailand. We just got to the hotel here in Bangkok a little bit ago and I freshened up and I have a lot of dry shampoo in my hair. I need to do some zhuzhing. This flight to Thailand was 16 and a half hours. So you can imagine that I did not look great after a flight that long. So dry shampoo, it was. We're not gonna wash our hair because we're in Thailand. What does that mean? It means that later on, I'm definitely getting a Thai massage. And you know, after a massage, you always have to wash your hair anyway. So you know what? It is what it is. We're going with the aged salt and pepper vibe. Anyway, the crew is about to meet me downstairs. We are going to see a temple. I am so excited to take you with me today. Don't forget to like this video and comment below if you enjoy this kind of content. This helps this little channel so, so much. And let's get going and have an adventure in Bangkok, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Early morning light is so beautiful. So I have a whole day to explore. First place we're going to is 7-Eleven, obviously. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it's really good. This one? Um, like this is the one. Yes. The little bananas. <laughs> I like it. This is ramen. If you ever want to get her attention, you just smell mango. 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 That's part of our mission today is to find mangoes, mangoes. to bring back home. And we will for sure show you our journey yes. of mango hopping. <laughs>
When we came to the temple, there was a very strict rule. So we had to cover our shoulders. Then they're allowed to wear this situation. Bibbidi-tibbidi, out. Pal here. These stairs are so steep, but I am honestly afraid of my life. Like coming up is fine, it's just going down. And I'm holding onto your shoulder. Where is your ball gonna go? Okay. Okay, I'll be, I'll be gentle. <laughs> okay. We go very slow. I never knew I was this big of a wolf. I knew I was. Okay, we're okay. good. We're 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 good. <laughs> Anything of going under the bed. It's made of golden steak work. It's like this is a bed that they would sleep on, and so like the Thai people do it for respecting or like worshiping. Seriously. have returned to the hotel. I actually ran out of battery. So unfortunately, I could not capture everything that I wanted to do, but I did go to two temples and here is proof, these stamps. They were absolutely beautiful. The detail on these temples is just mind blowing. And afterwards we went and got a little bit of Thai food to tide us over see what I did there. It looked like the restaurant was just in front of their home. It was so cute. The lady was just literally in her own kitchen cooking us this incredible Thai food. I had this amazing papaya salad, some sticky mango rice and fresh coconut. It was just absolutely incredible. Me and Amen are gonna go to the mall in a little bit just after we recharge ourselves and our phones. Had to change outfits because it is so hot here and the temperature is actually pretty similar to where I live on the island but where I live there's wind and here it is so muggy. I was melting like a little white chocolate left in the sun um, which shows, but it is what it is. So, say it me. So far, I really love Bangkok. It is such an interesting, interesting city. So I'm excited to see a little bit more before my battery runs out. The real life of a flight attendant <sighs> is that you're just like exhausted on every layover but because you're somewhere really interesting, you don't want to just sleep in your beautiful hotel room. We heard a rumor that there are peacocks. Is it a rumor? <laughs> I don't know. We're about <laughs> to find out if it's a rumor or not by one of the pools. So we're going to check it out. I hope so. I've never I'm seen a peacock in Oh, real. really?
outside with air conditioning. Hello, can I have the, the Thai tea? So she finally found her mangoes. This is all we carry. 10 for 900 bucks, and I'm getting them all. She's found more mango. <laughs> They're good. They're like sticky. I'll have two. <laughs> Chocolate bar? Yeah. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good. Your turn. That is good. Mm -hmm. That's so good. <laughs> like we're in like prison uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is post massage hair. It is like 1130 or so at night. I think I have been up over 24 hours at this point. I did not sleep on the flight here, maybe like 30 minutes on my break. So I'm feeling a little bit crazy. This is the real life of a flight attendant. I am so sleep deprived. It's not even funny. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to bed because the shuttle comes at like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I have like six and a half hours of sleep um, to do a very long trip back to Vancouver tomorrow. Wish me luck. I'm so sorry. Like, look at this. This is absolutely crazy but um post massage hair what can you do thank you so much for coming along on this fun trip to bangkok i appreciate you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video very soon